What happens when the world keeps lying to you? I think given what's happened in the world in the last couple of years, people are so starving of interaction and uh, contact with other people that they'll believe anything. They'll take any nutrition they can get because they're starved of oxygen. And what's happening is they're getting demoralized by the world because the world keeps lying to them. Your job keeps lying to you. Women keep lying to you. The advertising of what's good and what's bad. And then constantly getting disappointed in that makes you doubt yourself. And think about what that does. It makes you doubt your judgment. You're always wrong. Whatever you trust in, you know, they advertise something to you, it ends up failing. It ends up disappointing you. The demoralizing effect it has on you trusting your own judgment, your own instincts, over time it just wears you down. It's like an abusive relationship. You keep trusting the promises and you keep getting betrayed and let down and the cycle continues and it's a masochistic relationship and people become almost kinky pain freaks and they get off on it because it's not boring. They feel something, they're stimulated. A good way I found to trust my own judgment is um, think of it like research, is through conversation, more of a human discussion. A lot of guys out there try and calibrate their reality and make sense of the world purely by science, but it's a very cold and depersonalized approach for you actually feeling better and understanding your proximal lived experience better. Because you can understand the maths, but the maths is not going to help you when your wife leaves you. When you lose your job, a philosophical understanding of yourself helps. And that's more in line with internalizing what's going on around you, how you react to certain things. It's not what happens to you. It's the way you see things or the way you understand what's happening to you. It's generating a reality based on how you react to the world and not trying to control the world and mathematically make sense of the world. It's turning it in the opposite direction and making sense of how you react and how you perceive things. You're disciplining in controlling yourself, not your wasted effort in controlling and trying to understand the world, trying to understand the science, which keeps shifting and keeps disappointing. Again, making you give up at the end. It's kind of like, if I can't trust the science, what can I trust? If I can't trust the external by measuring it all the time in it, then I give up. I, I would say that um, to get a more content life is trusting your reality through the results of conversation, the fairness of conversation, because the world's always going to lie to you, market to you, to try and put its hands in your pockets, manipulate you and use you. Unfortunately, human nature is people using each other. A lot of insecure, neurotic people uh, who have no interest in self-reflection, just trying to take what they can get. Very few people are wanting a fair relating, a conversation, a more philosophical approach, a more fair exchange of things. So I think the best thing we can do is understand our worlds through deep conversation, relating to people honestly. Um, when you're on a date, interrogate the person you're with because you want to reveal the truth. Revealing the truth in every corner, not mathematically, not in a cold way, but through a conversational, personal approach. I think a lot of guys, especially today, are trying to make sense of the world in a very cold way and wondering why it doesn't satisfy. It doesn't satisfy because it's depersonalized. What's always worked, as far as I can see, is a philosophical approach, a stoic approach. All the stoicism guys tend to gravitate towards that makes sense is because it integrates and it touches on the human experience what you as a person can balance, the tennis match between you and life, not just understanding the life itself, not just, not just understanding the sport, but how you integrate, how you're a participant in the sport, the tennis match between you and it, you and a person, you and life, not just understanding the, the cold game itself and you don't exist. Personalize your understanding of everything to feel content. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. I've, I'm just telling you what has worked for me. Take from that what you will. A personal approach to life and the conversations you have in it, especially with people, particularly a lot of you guys with women that you are trying to love and fail, 
insist on reality, insist on nakedness, figuratively speaking, you carnal child, verify and insist on that reality. Is it a mask or not? Insist on the mask coming off. And if you can't, walk away. Reject masks. Insist on the face. That goes a long way in being able to trust what's in front of you, the people in front of you, the women in front of you, the life you're in. Test the world's promises. Test the world's marketing and advertising. Test the data. Test the science. But most of all, filter it through your lived experience, your empirical experience. Your lived experience is what you should trust the most. And then it's confirmed by the data, the science, the maths, the politics, the promises of the world, the marketing, the advertising. Everything needs to filter through the trust and will you have through your lived experience. This is the grounding of your world. If you don't calibrate yourself and trust your lived experience, trust what you see and hear and experience over and over again, and not just cross your fingers and say, oh, well, the reality of what I experience must not be true. I'm going to keep trusting the lottery win of what they promised to me. You will always doubt yourself and you will always feel demoralized every time you are taken advantage of and every time you feel like, ah, sucker, he fell for it again. When will you reach a point, gentlemen, when you stubbornly start generating your reality as much as you can instead of continually being disappointed by false marketing that is only designed to exploit you? As Leo Tolstoy so eloquently put it, if everyone fought for their own convictions, there would be no war. I hope you got something out of that. Let me know your comments down below and um, give me a like, a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thumbs down if you didn't support the channel. And uh, thank you for all you guys who have supported me this month. It means a lot. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.